This is JC with Scorpio Wolf Tarot. Thank you for joining me again this week. This is going to be a reading for the water sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, not everything in this reading will resonate with you, so take what's yours and leave the rest for someone else. Since this is a you versus them reading, you flip the role, if, uh, if need be, flip the roles to fit your particular story. The roles could be reversed, so flip it as you, need, you see fit. These readings are meant to be timeless, so whenever you're meant to see and hear them is when you're meant to see and hear them. As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the cards for you, so let's get to your reading. So, I'm kind of doing the readings a little differently this week. I'm only reading them upright this week. So, I've already gone and pulled the cards for you, and if they fell reverse, I've uh, flipped them to the upright position. So, this I'm going to try this out for this week and see how that works out. Um... So far, I've been getting some good um, in the just the general reading. I've been kind of being able to go flow more with the reading when it's up, all uprights. So let's see how that works out. So in your current energy between the person you came to this reading for, you, you and the person you came to this reading for, is the Five of Cups. So I kind of feel that one of you or both of you are wallowing. I kind of feel it's you, Scorpio, that's wallowing in the spilled cups I think you have, you're focused too much on the past. The energy's kind of kept you there. You know, you have two cups sitting right behind you. The five of cups, you have the three spilled cups in the front. And, you know, the, the person in the, the the image in the card is them crying over those three spilled cups. Because those are three cups of love that, you know, it could be a past relationship that you, you're kind of still not over. But as as always... I kind of feel that you're crying over these past relationships when there's two opportunities or two, and a moment to share these two cups behind you with someone else. Um, that being said, with the Knight of Cups here, I kind of feel that, you know, an offer of love should be coming to you. But with the, with the Knight of Cups here, after the Five of Cups, I kind of feel that you're kind of stalled right now. You're kind of stalled with the Knight of Cups. So you have this, the horse right here in, in this reading. You have him, he's about to cross that river, but he's not crossing that river yet. So the, it's kind of stalling the horse from moving forward, the river. And that's what I'm kind of getting with the, the card being this as a clarifier for the Five of Cups is that love is coming, but it's kind of stalled out right now because you haven't let go of this, this past energy. Now, the energy that you guys are getting for the current is the Lover's card. So, Scorpio, you have a decision to make when it comes to love. You have a decision to make regarding a specific person or past people. Uh, you have a decision to make. You can either decide to be with them or decide not to be with them. Um, but this is a call from the universe with the judgment card being here. This is a call from the universe to make a decision, to come do your divinely path. The angel, you know, the angel is blowing their horn to wake up. Wake up because it's time to make that decision. It's a call to get up and get going. And that's where I kind of feel what Scorpios are right now. Is that make that decision. The universe is asking you, hey, do you want this person or you don't you want this person? And if you do, go do something about it. If you don't, then, you know, at least let them go so they can pursue other other opportunities. The, the time is now, Scorpio. So the time is, the universe is telling you, now is the time to move forward. So that's the that's what you guys feel for the current current energy towards your person that you came to three for. You have a decision to make to be with them or not to be with them, and you're being called to do that, make that decision pretty soon here. Now your person, they they got the nine of cups. So the way they're feeling towards the relationship towards you is that they feel that you know you are the wish fulfillment for them. I mean you're gonna you're gonna. Being with you would be the best thing to come to happen to them, and they they would celebrate that opportunity to be with you. Now, I kind of feel with the Page of Cups being here is that this is someone that's a little younger than you. You know, it could, they could be a little younger than you, uh, a little immature, you know, but they're curious about this relationship. They really want to make this offer to you. They have a small cup. A page is a small offer, but it's, it's also an offer of love that they want to present to you, and whether you want to accept it or not is up to you. But they're willing to make that small offer to you. It might be an immature offer, you know, granted it because it's a page of cups and not a king of cups. But
but it's an off regard nonetheless. And it's kind of, it's, <laughs> and the way that the, these cards kind of fell out, you have the Nine of Cups face and the Page of Cups. So you, you're ready to make that mature offer. And they're ready to make that offer. And they're all, they're both looking at each other in this deck. So I kind of feel that you're both ready to make that offer to one another. It's just get over this past, past hurt. And then I think you'll be ready to make that decision in love with the lover's card. And there and bring this bring these offers together. Those see I got got two cups here. Two cups. You have one cup, they have one cup. There's two cups there behind them. The ones that are not spilled. So that's kinda it's kinda poetic in, in a sense to just see it see it fall out like that. So that's all I have for you uh, for this week, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate more subscribers to the channel. We're currently still at 36 subscribers, trying to hit the goal of 50 by the end of the month. <clears throat> and then maybe 100 by the end of uh, the quarter. So I, I really appreciate all those subscribers have subscribed to my channel. Hit that like button. It's, it it uh, distributes my content to uh, other users, other read, other viewers on YouTube. And also, if you'd hit that, leave a comment. Uh, I did get one comment about shuffling on camera. Uh, I don't have a steady camera right now, so that's why I don't do it. It's also, to me, it kind of feels like if I don't lay out the cards the way they fall out, I, I'll, I'll tend to be like one of these other readers that kind of continues dropping cards until they get the card that they want. This way, I, I know that these are the cards that fell out. This is the story I need to get, work with. I'm not doing any changing of cards behind the scenes before I read them to you. This is what falls out after I shuffle for a good good period of time. So, I mean, it's just saving you time not to see all that shuffling, you know, and all that stuff going on in the in the foreground. And um, again, thank you for joining me again this week and have a great week. Bye.